Latin book of Ecclesiastes from the English Septuagint of the translation of Lancelot C. Brenton beginning continuing in chapter 8 who knows the wise and who knows the interpretation of a saying a man's wisdom will lighten his countenance but a man of shameless countenance will be hated. Observe the commandment of the king, and that because of the word of the oath of God. Be not hasty, you shall go forth out of his presence. Stand not in an evil matter, for he will do whatever he shall please, even as a king having power. And who will say to him, what do you? He that keeps the commandment shall not know an evil thing, and the heart of the wise knows the time of judgment. For to everything there is a time and judgment. For the knowledge of a man is great to him. For there is no one that knows what is going to be. For who shall tell him how it shall be? There is no man that has power over the spirit to retain the spirit, and there is no power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in the day of the battle, and neither shall ungodliness save her votary. So I saw all this, and I applied my heart to every work that has been done under the sun. All the things wherein a man has power over man to afflict him. Then I saw the ungodly carried into the tombs, and that out of the holy place. And they departed, and were praised in the city, because they had done thus. This is also vanity. Those who do evil quickly, therefore the heart of the children of men is fully determined in them to do evil. He that has sinned has done evil from that time, and long from beforehand. <clears throat> Nevertheless I know that it is well with them that fear God, for they may fear before him, but it shall not be well with the ungodly, and he shall not prolong his days, which are as a shadow, for as much as he fears not before God. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there are righteous persons to whom it happens according to the doing of the ungodly. And there are ungodly men to whom it happens according to the doing of the just. <clears throat> I said, this is also vanity. And then I praised mirth, because there is no good for a man under the sun, but to eat and drink and be merry that this shall attend him in his labor all the days of his life, which God has given him under the sun. Whereupon I set my heart to know wisdom, and to perceive the trouble that was wrought upon the earth. For there is that neither by day nor night cease sleep with his eyes. And I saw all the work of God, that a man shall not be able to discover the work which is wrought under the sun. Whatever things a man shall endeavor to seek, however, a man may labor to seek it, yet he shall not find it. Yes, how much soever a wise man may speak of knowing it, he shall not be able to find it. For I applied all this to my heart, and my heart has seen all this. Chapter 9 I saw that the righteous and the wise in their works are in the hand of God. Yes. There is no man that knows either love or hatred, though all are before their face. Vanity is in all, and there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the bad, both to the pure and to the impure both to him that sacrifices and to him that sacrifice not. As is the good, 
so is the sinner, as is the swearer, even so is he that fears an oath. This is an evil in all that is done under the sun, that there is one event to all. Yes, the heart of the sons of men is filled with evil, and madness is in their heart during their life. And after that, they go to the dead. For who is he that is after they go to the dead? For who is he that has found fellowship with all the living? There is hope of him. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living will know that they shall die, but the dead know nothing. And there is no longer any reward to them, for their memory is lost. Also their love and their hatred and their envy have now perished. Yes, there is no portion for them any more forever in all that is done under the sun. Go eat your bread with mirth and drink your wine with a joyful heart. For now God has favorably accepted your works. <coughs> Let your garments be always white, and let not oil be lacking on your head. And see life with the wife whom you love all the days of your life, of your vanity, which are given you under the sun. For that is your portion in your life, and in your labor wherein you labor under the sun. Whatsoever your hand shall find to do, do with all your might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in Hades, whither you go. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor yet bread to the wise, nor yet wealth to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of knowledge, for time and chance will happen to them all. For surely man also knows not his time, as fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as birds that are caught in a snare. Even thus the sons of men are snared at an evil time, when it falls suddenly upon them. This I also saw to be wisdom under the sun, and it is great before me. Suppose there were a little city, and a few men in it. And there should come against it a great king, and surround it, and build great mounds against it, and should find in it a poor wise man, and he should save the city through his wisdom. Yet no man would remember that poor man. And I said, Wisdom is better than power, yet the wisdom of the poor man is set at nothing. And his words are not listened to, the words of the wise are heard in quiet, more than the cry of them that rule in folly. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, and one sinner will destroy much good. Chapter 10. Pestilent flies will corrupt a preparation of sweet ointment, and a little wisdom is more precious than great glory of folly. A wise man's heart at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left, yes, and whenever a fool walks by the way his heart will fail him, and all that he thinks of is folly. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against you, leave not your place, for soothing will put an end to the great offense. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, wherein an error has proceeded from the ruler. The fool has been set in very high places, while rich men would sit in a low one. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants on the earth. He that digs a pit shall fall into it, and him that breaks down a hedge a serpent shall bite. He that removes stone shall be troubled thereby. He that cleaves wood shall be endangered thereby. If the axe head should fall off, then the man troubles his countenance, and he must put forth more strength. And in that case, skill is of no advantage to a man. If a serpent bite, 
When there is no charmer's whisper, then there is no advantage to the charmer. The words of the wise mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow him up. The beginning of the words of his mouth is folly, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool, moreover, multiplies words. Man knows not what has been, nor what will be. And who shall tell him what will come after him? The labor of fools will afflict them, as that of one who knows not to go to the city. <laughs> Woe to you, O city, whose king is young, and your princes eat in the morning. And blessed are you, O land, whose king is a son of nobles, and whose princes shall eat seasonably for strength, and shall not be ashamed. By slothful neglect a building will be brought low, and by idleness of the hands the house will fall to pieces. Men prepare bread for laughter and wine and oil, that the living should rejoice. But money and all things will humbly yield obedience. Even in your conscience curse not the king, and curse not the rich in your bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry your voice, and that which has wings shall report speech. A little bird told me, <laughs> which is where that comes from. Godspeed. Everyone have a wonderful day.